Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use fiberglass resin to give your warbler a nice smooth finish with one coat that usually does not require any sanding. So as you can see, the nice bumpy texture of Warbla takes a lot of priming with maybe gesso or wood glue or a couple other techniques, but not many people use fiberglass resin. Now this is actually pretty easy to use, only takes one coat, and if you do it carefully, there's no sanding at all. So I have two different bracers here. One is craft foam and one is warble. This works very well for both. The most important thing is disposable gloves. You can wear one pair if you intend to use a brush or you have to wear two pairs if you intend to do this with your hands. This is a disposable cup, disposable brush, something to stir it with. I've marked on the cup how much of the resin I'm going to need. Measure it out with water first according to the measurements it will tell you on the back how much resin to mix per hardener. The hardener will come on top like this. You find it in the store together. It's got like a little cap on the top and you just pull the cap off and this is underneath it. So for something small, I'm using three tablespoons. If you have something bigger, I'd recommend six tablespoons. Stuff is goopy like molasses. And it also smells really bad. So you have to make sure that you're doing it outdoors. Take the hardener. You might have to cut a hole in it with an X-Acto knife if they're, if it's like covered up shut. That's happened to a couple of mine. Make sure your surface is covered with plastic. This can and will ruin clothing and anything else that you get it on. Once you add the hardener, you have about 10 minutes before this hardens. So you need to make sure to do it relatively quickly. Three tablespoons, 10 drops. If you add less, your resin will take a long time to dry if not dry at all, and if you add more, it will dry very quickly and it might harden before you're done working with it. Mix it up really good once you've got the hardener in there. We get the warbler that we want to prime and slop it on. Now, the layer doesn't have to be very thick, but you need to make sure that it covers everything. If you mess up, you can sand it so it's not the end of the world but we want to avoid sanding because sanding takes a long time. Get it along the top and the bottom, a nice and even coat, set it down to dry. And now for the craft foam. Now this is very flimsy. Saran wrap protects everything that you don't want to get this goopy fiberglass on. Try to spread it as evenly as possible. This is going to add extra strength as well as smoothness. Your gloves are going to get very sticky. If your fiberglass starts to dry before you are finished, it is better to just cut your losses, let it dry, and make a new batch because it'll start to get clumpy. And once it gets clumpy, it's not going to spread evenly over your surface and you're gonna have really gross bumps in it. It's better to mix three different batches, use three different cups and three different brushes and do the smaller batches and give yourself time to work with it than it is to mix one big batch and try to cover a whole bunch of pieces of armor at the same time. If you're working with this for long periods of time, make sure you use a mask or even better, one of the, like, the respiration types because these fumes are toxic and they should not be kept inside a house or an apartment. Always do this outdoors. When you get it on your hands, it's going to feel sticky. Like your fingers pull together the skin a little bit when you try to pull them apart. This is gonna dry in a couple hours and it won't be the end of the world. It'll start to just kind of flake off your hands for the next two to seven days. If you get a ton on it, give yourself two to three weeks for the fiberglass to come off, but it most definitely will come off. During the drying process, you want to make sure that there's no like drips coming along the edge or coming off of it because you're gonna have to sand those off later or dremel those off, but if you get them now, then you don't have to worry about it. You can do two coats of this if you find that one of your coats missed some spots, just sand it to make sure it all blends together, but one good coat with no sanding should do it as long as you are very careful. Give it a full 24 hours to dry though because 
you're going to notice that even though it's mostly dry, there's still going to be bits and pieces around it that are sort of sticky to touch. And after 24 hours, it's going to be completely solid. Here's our tester piece. You can see the fiberglass warbler versus the warbler without it, and you can see the texture difference there. This spot right here is something that I did to show what happens if you don't put enough on. So the fiberglass is there and it's thin layer, but part of it in the center has peeled apart and you can see the bumpy warbler underneath. When this happens, you can either do another coat or just ignore it depending on how bad it is, it's up to you. Save the stick that you use to stir it every time because once the fiberglass dries, you can reuse it. You don't have to use little sticks from your brushes. You could also use pens that don't have any ink in them anymore or just anything else small and stick-like that you could use to stir that you don't mind getting completely ruined. All the materials that you use for each batch are not salvageable. You have to do new ones every time. So new gloves, a new cup, and a new brush because everything is going to be completely solid. That's the little bit in the bottom that I didn't use that's getting solid now. They both turned out pretty good. Both of them have that nice smooth look that we were going for. The foam itself is still fairly squishy. The fiberglass doesn't make it completely rigid, but it does give it this hard shell. This one right here also came out very nice. This one's covered a little bit better. Make sure you put weights onto the bag, whatever bag you've got, be it a big garbage bag or some plastic bags on a table. Make sure that you've got something to hold those down so if the wind blows, it's not going to come up and stick itself onto your fiberglass while it's drying because once that happens, it'll start making little blemishes in it and then you might have to sand. One layer of fiberglass resin will make warbler or foam super smooth, just like this, but if you get into like three or four layers, it'll still make it smooth, it'll just start adding weight and the last thing you want with cosplay armor is for it to be heavy. So stick to one or two layers, minimal sanding if any is required. Works on craft foam as well as warbler. Both of them are super smooth and ready to paint. Thanks for watching.